To assist RV owners with general maintenance tips and maximize the performance of their Suburban gas appliances, Suburban is pleased to present the Suburban Water Heater series of instructional videos to properly maintain your appliances. Video 4 Series 1 is titled Water Heater Sediment Removal. Let's get started. Suburban sets the standard for RV water heaters with their long life porcelain lined steel tank design and anode rod protection. Durable Suburban water heaters provide reliable performance. To extend the life of your water heater, simple maintenance should be performed annually. Under normal use, sediment deposits will build up inside the water heater tank. This sediment and mineral deposits could lead to slower recovery time, less available hot water, and higher energy costs. Periodic flushing of the water heater can help extend the life of the tank, reduce energy consumption, and eliminate tank noise issues. Here's how you flush the water heater tank. To properly flush the water heater tank of sediment deposits, turn off the gas, electrical, and water supplies to the appliance. Open both the hot and cold water faucets to relieve pressure in the water system. Using a 1 and 1 16th inch socket, extension, and ratchet, remove the anode rod, which is also the drain plug, and allow the tank to drain. Open the temperature and pressure relief valve to assist in draining the tank faster. Caution: Do not drain the tank if it is hot or under pressure. Using a spray wand that attaches to a garden hose, which can be purchased from a local RV retailer, rinse the inside of the tank thoroughly by inserting the wand in the drain port. Inspect the inside of the tank through the drain port for sediment deposits that are too large to come out through the drain opening. These deposits will need to be broken up or softened to remove. Using a wet dry vac with a hose attached or a battery filler bulb, attempt to get the remaining water out of the tank. Protect the area of the RV sidewall under the water heater from vinegar staining the finish when you drain the tank. For large deposits that are hard to break up, use a funnel to pour vinegar into the water heater tank through the drain port opening. Fill the tank until the vinegar starts to seep out of the drain port. Install a 3 quarter inch plug in the drain port to prevent the vinegar from draining. Do not use the anode rod in this step as vinegar can damage the anode rod. You can purchase a 3 quarter inch plug at any hardware store. Let the vinegar sit in the tank for several hours, allowing the sediment and deposits to soften. Overnight would be best. Remove the plug from the drain port to allow the vinegar and loose sediment to drain. Flush the tank using the wand to remove any remaining sediment from the tank. Turn on the water supply to the tank to rinse and flush out any remaining vinegar and sediment. Rinse with fresh water as needed and repeat as necessary. Clean the drain port spud threads with a small wire brush to remove any sediment deposits or remaining thread sealant. Apply mineral oil to the cleaned drain port threads to prevent corrosion and assist in installing the replacement anode rod. Apply Teflon tape or a thread sealant approved for potable water to the replacement anode rod threads. Start threading the replacement anode rod into the drain port clockwise by hand to ensure that it is properly threaded. Using the ratchet with a 1 and 1 16th inch socket, continue rotating the anode rod clockwise into the drain port until it is secure. Refill the water heater and inspect for leaks. Correct as necessary. By following these simple steps, you can properly maintain your RV water heater, which should extend the life of the water heater. This concludes Video 4 Series 1 of the Suburban Water Heater Series.